Yes, everybody who's on the West End Network, hope you are all safe and well. Happy Friday. Happy Good Friday. Um, and a, a long weekend, Easter weekend, on the horizon. Is it going to piss down all weekend by the sounds of it? So I thought, do you know what? We've got West out. We've got obviously Newcastle tomorrow. Um, I thought we had a bit of fun today. A bit of fun for a change. It's always too serious. Why so serious? Um, so a bit too serious today. So I thought, do you know what? We'll have a bit of fun today. We'll do a, bit, do a quiz. We'll have a bit of fun on a Friday today. Someone's asked, We had some um, somebody in the chat ask about the quiz, um, how we had done one for a while. So ask and thou shall receive, my friends. Ask and thou shall receive. Um, if you want to join in, um, you know, we'll be doing it starting about, you know, five minutes or so, five, ten minutes or so. Um, all you got to do is go to, there's two ways you do it. You go to kahoot.it um, or you download the app, Kahoot app. Um, and whatever you do, you put in the pin code. It says there, 85892998. And we'll probably start in about five, ten minutes or so. Um, afternoon, Anthony. Hope you're well, my friend. Danny's in the chat. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Um, what's it? Anyone got any plans for Good Friday? Anyone, particularly in the UK, obviously it's a bank holiday. It's a long weekend. Obviously, we have bank holiday uh, Monday as well. The kids are off. Flo is now finished for school. School is out for Easter, thankfully. Uh, much to her delight. <laughs> so I'm just watching this on the phone. Uh, G Lo, hope you are well. Hope you are well. Um, so yeah, if you want to get involved, um, might might get some prizes for the winner. Why not? If you don't, if you can't, if you haven't got, any, you do need two devices. If you can't, haven't got two devices, don't worry. You can obviously play along in the in the chat, and we can uh, we can still have a have a giggle anyway. But uh, I imagine I'm I'm still waiting for confirmation on when David Moyes' press conference is going to be ahead of the Newcastle game. Um, so yeah, I'm not too sure. Uh, we're getting a few people joining, which is nice. Thank you for joining us in the thing. Uh, so we'll try and do some uh, try and give away some prizes. Um, obviously today we put up a little uh, a re snippet of the Dean Ashton interview where he talks about sort of the preview of the Newcastle game, but also um, talking about just Moyes ball and how he would react to playing Moyes ball basically and um, yeah had a, a an interesting view um so we thought we'd uh we thought we'd have a go we thought we'd uh, bring that up and as I said if you haven't seen the full interview go and watch it it's really really good um it goes on for about an hour so if you've got a spare hour today jump on and uh and listen to Dino and if you already heard it go and hear it again doesn't didn't put a, a too bad eleven together considering he you know was injured for <laughs> for most of his career but he still made fifty six sort of appearances you know bagged almost twenty goals and uh, for a certain generation was their number nine including mine he was one of my one of my elevens um, I've been fortunate enough now to interview five of my eleven now. Matt's already for the quiz, good. So he had, um, who, who's on my 11? Yeah, so I had, so I've interviewed Julian Dix, Sebastian Schemmel, Joe Cole, Trevor Sinclair, and Dean Ashton now. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, we'll start in probably about five or so minutes. A few people will join in, in the chat, and then we'll, uh, let's we'll put a timer in. Um, so we'll start in five minutes. Danny's in. Good Friday, indeed, indeed, Michael. Thanks for joining us. As I said, if anyone wants to get involved in the in the quiz, have a go. Not good time. He's trying to get this, trying to get the garden ready for the Easter Bunny tomorrow for the grandkids. You understand? We certainly do understand. We certainly do understand. And uh, but you can, if, if you can't join on the actual app on Kahoot, don't worry. You can just add it to the chat and have a bit of a giggle. Um, just like a bit different, I thought. Mix it up a little bit. It's all doom and gloom at the moment, it seems. Not doom and gloom, but it's all very... There's a lot of interesting, you know, obviously there's loads of news up, particularly around the season tickets. Might do a proper show about that later on, so there. Um, Mark, hope you're well. You used to love Shem. Yeah, lovely guys, old Shem. What is what is what is Terry Connolly sent me? I don't know. He send me, sends me random texts all the time. Um, 
Yes, Sebastian Chevel, top man, top man. We're getting back on the channel soon. He's, he's a lovely guy, um, massive West Ham fan since becoming a, a player, which is really good to see. Um, as I said, he's got his own restaurant in um, Luxembourg called uh, Upson Park. And a very lovely man too. Uh, look forward to the game tomorrow. Feeling good about result. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably start. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's weak as a 12.30 kickoff, in it, in the UK? And, you know, particularly for the travelling army, the travelling amers, it's an early start. Or maybe they go up today and then they uh, have a good night out in Newcastle. Like, hey, man. Um, and then you've got that massive climb up to the stand. I think Anton's going to the game. Uh, I think imagine with Freddie as well. So he'll be doing a bit of videoing from there, hopefully. So you'll get, uh, even if he can't go, you'll get a bit of a feeling about what it's all like. Uh, afternoon, Michael. Hope you're well. As I said, we'll start in a couple of minutes' time. If you want to join, uh, you have to go to Kahoot.it on a second device or download the app um, and enter the PIN code. It says there, 58922998. And we'll have a bit of a laugh. 20 questions, a bit of everything. Um, yeah, yeah. the, the clubs today have, or, or apparently are going to be cracking down on people who don't loot, use them. I think it's basically people who don't, who do nothing with them. So I know, for example, Anton can't go to a lot of games. He's a scene ticket holder. Lives in Scotland, probably makes less than half a dozen of games this year. Um, but he will, it's about using them. So they're be, being allocated. They're being used. I think that's basically the idea. But obviously people think, oh, you know, if you're not using them, we'll lose them. But it's how you use them. So I think you put them up on, on sale. If they're still being used, that's okay. But it's when there's a situation where they're not being used and there's an empty seat, I think. Um, that's basically how I've seen it. Uh, we never pull off the break. We don't. Although well, Newcastle have got half a dozen players out at least already. What are you doing? Uh, Ludders, really annoyed Russ with the club stopping half price. I'm due to get mine next year. I'm 66. Government already cost me 5 million pension. Five years, and now this. Indeed, Ludders. Well, what they are doing, it seems, is they're moving, is they're, there and again, I've just I've just read this today, really. So I'll delve into it a little bit more, probably as a, as a separate video. But basically, what they're doing is getting a situation where you're going to be um, where the concessions are going to be in the less expensive parts of the ground. Uh, that's that's what it seems. What they're doing is moving the concessions to the less expensive parts of the ground. So you still get concessions, I believe, but not on like tier one and th things like that. So. And apparently Spurs have done it. I don't know why, just because Spurs do it, we have to do it. But that's what I've sort of taken out of that article. Um, and again, we'll, probably, we'll, we'll delve deeper into it. There's a lot more about that scene ticket stuff. There's obviously the price hike. There's use it or lose it. There's the concessions. There's also, what was the other thing I noticed today? Um, what's the other thing I used to notice today? The concessions. Yeah, see, and also the club apparently, like Club Insider saying that they've, they started too cheap and they sort of backed themselves into a corner from day one. Um, and if they'd started that again, now they'd have gone probably 50% more, which seems crazy really. Um, Michael, uh, indeed is that there's plenty of injuries there in Newcastle every year. Goalposts are changing life. They certainly are. Uh, Stuart's coming. You irons indeed. Right. We'll, we'll start the quiz. Um, but as I said, it's just a bit of fun. Um, something a bit different for a Friday, for a good Friday. Um, the For anyone who's not doing it, um, don't worry. You can put the old things in the old, uh, in the old chat if you want to. Uh, they should pay us to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's, there's a, they're changing. Well, they're considering changing concessions, Michael. So they expect to get up right up to the ba bad enough to the seat as it is. Indeed, Lothers, you're right. And, you know, there's a lot of seats which are a long way away. My, I mean, my, not my, I'm not talking about my seat in general, but mine's probably right. It is right at the back. I have to go literally right to the back to get into my seat. And uh, it's a slog. It's a schlep. It is. Um, but I think there's, I think there's a wider piece we can, we'll do about that. Probably maybe even do it. Maybe we'll have a chat about it tonight or something like that. We'll have a think. Right. Okay. So if I, uh, so I'm going to hit start on that and I'm going to share my screen. 
That is today's dates. So eyes down. You get 60 seconds to answer the questions. And we have a puzzle. Who has made the most Premier League passes for West Ham this season? Here's your four options. And in if you're doing it on the phone, you have to move them into the right order. So from the most, who's made the most Premier League passes this season to the least out of those four. So James Will Prowse, Lucas Paqueta, Nea Fagerd and Emerson. Which uh, which was the most, which was next, da, 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 all four of them. So these are the top four passers in the Premier League for West Ham this season. Um, so yes, so all you got to do in the chats, in the um, not in the chat, in the on the Kahoot app or on the if you're on doing it on the phone, is just put them in the right order. That's all you got to do. So we've got four ch- four there. Um, I don't know why I've got very very pink there. There we go. Um, a, 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 well, uh, they are looking at that as, as a possibility. As a possibility. Um, so this is the right order. This is this will surprise many of you, but this is the right order. It surprised everyone who, who actually went in. No one got the question right. James Ward Prowse, then it's Naya Fagged, then it's Emerson, and Lucas Paquetta's last. And I guarantee people probably put JWP, then Lucas Paquetta. Um, so it's wrong. You're off. Oh, I love you. <laughs> She's gone. Uh, so no, so no points for anyone at the moment. <laughs> Good start. Uh, true or false? Simple. The White Horse in the 1923 FA Cup final was called Clive. Was it true or false? Was the White Horse in the 1923 FA Cup final called Clive? Was it Clive or wasn't it Clive? No, Sufo is, is not even, he's got a lot of assists, but no, not in the terms of passing, mate. You've got to think how much passing JWP does in the minute, in the middle and stuff like that. Was he called Clive or not? That's the question we're all asking ourselves. Was he called Clive? Let's change that. That's less pink. Let's go to something a bit better. Yeah, that'll do. Um, no problem at all. No, I'm a bit earlier today, Budge, but it's because I've got to, a bit, bit to do this, this afternoon. So was it called was he called Clive or wasn't he called Clive? Michael thinks false he wasn't called Clive. And if he wasn't called Clive, Michael, what do you think he was called? There we go. It was in 1923, first FA Cup final at Wembley. West Ham were there. Uh in the White Horse final. It was and <laughs> it's called indeed. Uh it was it was false. It was false. It was actually called Billy. Billy was his name. And Billy was his name. Uh, let's see who's uh, done so. Uh, what we got there? Uh, hundreds. Well done. Your top. You get points for just getting the right answer, but you got also points for doing it quicker than anyone else. Another question. In the 99-09 League Cup, we played a quarter final against um, Aston Villa. We played Manny and Minamai. We had to replay it. What was Who did he play for? Who did Manny and Minamai play in the previous round of the League Cup? So we obviously fielded a eligible player. Um, was did Manny play for Bristol City? Did he play for Colchester? Did he play for Bristol Rovers or did he play for Gillingham? Manny and I I played for one of those clubs previously in the same season of the uh, 99 2000 um, League Cup run. And obviously, we got to court finals. We beat Villa, didn't we? At London, uh, to London Stadium, Upton Park. And then we had to replay the game because Harry brought him on. I don't think, I think he touched the ball twice. Uh, Michael thinks it's Colchester. A little tip, Michael, just wait for the answers and then then put it up very quickly and you look really clever. Um, so who do we think it was? Uh, Budgie thinks it's Bristol Rovers, I think. Uh, Michael thinks it was Colchester. But who was it? Who was it? We'll find out. Three, two, one. The answer was Gillingham. It was Gillingham. It was Gillingham. Uh, so let's see who's done well so far. Oh, oh, hundred still, nineteen hundred still there. Well done, Jay. And Anthony's shot up a little bit. Let's carry on. Question four: West Ham got relegated in the 0203 season. How many points did we get that season? Famously, went down with a lot of points: 40, 41, 42, or forty-three points. Obviously, you get points in this game for doing it, getting it right. Firstly. But doing it quickly, you get more points as well. So sometimes if you don't know it, if you have no idea of what it is, have a punch straight away because you might be lucky. Michael realised after he put his eye. That's what I mean. That's that's the that's the thing. Just wait two seconds and type really fast. Uh, 
Michael thinks it's 43 points we went down on. Scott thinks it's 42. One person may be right. One person may be wrong. Both might be wrong. You never know. You never know. But we just thought it would be a bit, bit different to do, this, do a quiz rather than – because uh, we always talk about David Moyes and all that type of stuff at the moment. So I thought, you know what, we'll have a quiz. We'll have the um, Predicted Eleven show. That will be up later on uh, tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning as well. Um, 41, I hope. Um, Jim thinks it's 42. And Jim was right. It was 42. And Scott was right. It was 42. 42 points famously. Um Danny, always hundreds. He's on a streak. Look, three correct answers for nineteen hundred. Congratulations. Let's carry on. Question number five. West Ham won the Cup Winners' Cup in '65 in Wembley. Who did we beat in the final? Who did we beat in the final? Did we beat Anderlecht? Did we beat Roma? Did we beat Marseille? Or did we beat eighteen sixty Munich? Which of those did we beat? Yep, indeed. I mean, Brookie came on did that last few games and uh, brought back the Canio. Famously, Glenn had, had banished him. And uh, yes, very close, wasn't it? Uh, it was infamous, as you thought. Yeah, indeed, it certainly was. That's why when people say, oh, he gets 40 points. For me, it's always 42 points, just because I always still have that on the back of my head. Obviously, there is a statue of the um, European Cup Winners' Cup winners at, uh, at the London Stadium. Famously, Brian Deers. He's before my time as tall, Scott, but this, this is history, my friend. Um, and uh, famously, Brian Deers' name is on the front. <laughs> she told me he was very pleased about it the other day. Um, Mike has gone for 1860 Munich. So has Budgie. They've gone for 1860 Munich as well. Um, and it was 1860 Munich. More like 24 to something, indeed. And Delect was uh, the 75 one uh, with Keith Robson. That's why I put that in as a bit cheeky, bit cheeky. There we go. Everyone's doing well. It, you, you're totally right. It was the 70, 75, I think it was, 74, 75. And, um, yeah, that's why I put that one in. I was being, I was being cheeky, being cheeky. True or false, 50-50. Lucas Fabianski has been sent off for West Ham. True or false. Has Lucas been sent off during his time at West Ham? Yes or no? That's what you got, 50-50. You've got a Lamar. You've got a what about now on 50-50. There we go. So, yep, Lucas Fabianski has been sent off for West Ham. 76. Sorry, my bad. You're right. Um, True, says Michael. Scott's gone for false. Someone's going to be right. Budgie's gone for right. Budgie's right as well. False. He has never been sent off for West Ham. Uh, Oh, it's all JB's taking the lead. JB has got a five in a row. Very impressive. As he must have got one, the first one wrong. Um, and then since then, it's been all JB. Question seven. Uh, former West Ham midfielder Nobby Solano had what televised in Peru? He's a big star in Peru. Did he have his wedding televised? Did he have his circumcision? Did he have the birth of his first child televised? Or did he have his commendation from the Peru president? One of them, no, I, thought, I had to put it, I thought it was hilarious. It was a really good question. Nobby Solano, West Ham, the trumpeter himself from Peru, had one of these televised live in Peru, as much of the superstar he is in Peru. Was it his wedding? Was it his circumcision? It was his wedding. Um, thankfully, no one thought his circumcision. A couple of people said his birth, his first child, and a couple of people said the um, the commendation for the it was the wedding. His wedding was televised live in Peru. Mental. It's like Beckham or someone like that, you know, having their te- their wedding televised, where we just obviously have royal weddings. That means that. Next question. Guido Mel made seventy six appearances for West Ham. He also made thirty one appearances for which country? Which country did Guido Mel play for? Was it Nigeria, the Ivory Coast, Ghana, or Cape Verde? A wonderful man, a beautiful man is Guido Mel. We'll get him back on the channel soon. Um, he's lovely. Very, uh, he was such a sweet guy. Um, but who did he play international football for? Was it Nigeria? Was it the Ivory Coast, Ghana, or Cape Verde? Wouldn't it be funny if he's circumcision? <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. You couldn't cut that you, you couldn't cut that show short, could you? <laughs> it was the Ivory Coast. Well done, Budgie. Wait two seconds. 
Coast. Coast, simple. Uh, it was the Ivory Coast. Uh, we got that. Anthony's on a, on a bit of a run now, four in a row as well. Very good, all heating up nicely. Puzzle. Put these West Ham managers in chronological order in terms of when they managed the club. Oldest first to newest. So we've got four managers. Put them in order. Uh, we have Avram Grant, Alan Kerbishley, Harry Redknapp, Lou Macari. Put these in order from oldest to newest in terms of when they managed the club. So who's going to be first? Who's going to be the oldest one of those four in terms of who you've managed? Who's managed West Ham? Um, in terms of, you know, the most, the longest time, not the longest time is the word, chronologically. So four of them, put them in chronological order, basically. Uh, tragic morning to you, sir. I hope you will, mate. So, uh, you know, Lou Macari is the oldest. I'll give you that one. So put Lou Macari top. And then how's it all, you know, is it Alan Kirbyshee next? Or did Harry Redknapp manage West Ham next? Or was it Avram Grant next? Do you know what I mean? Good. I'm glad I got it. What? Because I, I told it to cut short. Uh, yeah, we have, to, we have to nip off at the end. <laughs> any more? Any more for any more? It was, or for, it was Lou Macari, then Harry Redknapp, then Alan Kerbishley, then Avram Grant. Yep. And obviously anyone who listened to the Dean Ashton, um, thing the other day, the national interview. Uh, he speaks qu quite candidly about Alan Kirbishley um, and how he really didn't get on with him during his time at West Ham. Um, but then now he's fine with him. That makes sense. I mean, that Kirby is a nice guy. Uh, oh, it's all change. 100 anti Taylor's there. Danny's there. Good to see. Keep it going. In the 2005 season, West Ham's win one promotion to Premier League. But who did we beat in the playoffs? Who did we beat in the playoffs in 2004-2005? Did we beat Crystal Palace in the playoff? Did we beat Blackpool? Did we beat Preston North End? Or did we beat Bradford City? Which ones of those did we beat in the playoff final in 04-05? That was part of the uh, three trips to Cardiff. We had one before which we lost. Then we had another one and then we had the FA Cup final three chips to Cardiff. I had the same car park space exactly the same for three years running and it was Preston North End it wasn't Blackpool Blackpool was the 2012 one you silly got ya got ya Palace we'd lost to the previous year Preston North End you see Papa wasn't right Papa was wrong it was Preston North End Boring game. That was the Jimmy Walker one where he came up at the end and then we had to bring on Stephen Bywater for the last few minutes. All change. No, 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 it's all the same. All the same. Uh, let's carry on. Which former West Ham Swindon Man City and Ipswich player made 32 appearances for Northern Ireland? Unsubscribed. <laughs> Which former West Ham Swindon Man City and Ipswich player made 32 appearances for Northern Ireland? Was it John Moncur? Was it Kevin Horlock? Was it Steve Lomas? Or was it Michael Hughes? Which one of those played for West Ham, Swindon, Man City and Ipswich and was also a Northern Ireland international? It was Kevin Horlock. It wasn't John Moncur. Idiot. <laughs> didn't play for Man City or Ipswich. Um, and Steve Lomas didn't play for Swindon or Ipswich. Um, uh, it was Kevin Horlock. He won all four. Played 4-4 and 32 appearances. Oh, Matt now is a bit of a high streak. Come on, Matt. Late run. Question 12. Former West Ham striker Brian Deer Stag, good friend of the channel, holds which record in from still from 1965? Was it the fastest hat-trick ever scored? Fastest player to be sent off? The fastest five goals in a game? Or the fastest hat-trick of penalties? <laughs> Unsubscribed. <laughs> which... Uh, record does Brian Deer, good old stag, God love him, still hold Alan Shearer? No, most pies in a match. He don't eat the pies, he, he gives them to me. True story. True story. Brian Deer does not, Brian, every, true story. Brian Deer gives me his his food voucher every game because he says I need it. I need, I, need, I, need, I need to eat well. So there we go. It was fastest five goals in the game. And if you ask him, he will tell you about it. 
<laughs> he will tell you a bit about it, that is for sure. God bless Stag. Um, funny story about him and Colton Cole once, which I'll, which I'll keep from my memoirs. Um, there we go. Oh, it's all heating up a little bit now. Let's keep going. West Ham had a brief appearance in the UEFA Cup, losing in the first round to which club in 2006? In 2006, was it Stenard Bucharest? Was it Palmero? Was it Red Star Belgrade? Or was it Boa Vista? One of those we lost in the first round to in 2006. Who was it against? Was it against Stenard Bucharest? Uh, Garino thinks it's Palmero. Is he right? Is he wrong? We'll find out soon. Was it Red Star Belgrade? Scott thinks it's Belgrade. Was it Boa Vista? Was it uh, Stenar Bucharest? Who was it? Who was it? It was a... I remember it very, very well. It was Palmero. It was Palmero, the Battle of Palmero, very much so. Uh, there we go. Let's keep going. Queer, which team haven't we played in the Europa League so far this season? Which team haven't we played in the Europa League? Haven't we played Freiburg? Haven't we played Olympiacos? Back at Zapola or Viborg? Which team haven't we played in the Europa League this season? Google says Palmeira. It was Palmeira. It was. Google was right. Which team haven't we played in the Europa League so far this season? Papa first thinks it's Viborg. Garino thinks it's Viborg. Trodge thinks it's Viborg. And it was Viborg. Well, I'm Rob as well. Viborg indeed. Let's keep going. Everyone thinks it's Viborg. Everyone's a, everyone's a, an expert. We beat Bradford City 5-4 in 2000. Who scored the winner? I had to give a, it was a gimme. Um, who scored the winner in the 5-4 win against Bradford in 2000? Was it Decanio? Was it John Moncur? Was it an own goal? Or was it Frank Lampard Jr.? Crazy game. People remember it for a long time. I remember it vividly. One of my favourite games of all time. He, that was a quick one. It was Frank Lampard Jr. in the 83rd minute. It was Lampard. It was, it was an own goal. It was Lampard. It was Lampard. All right. She's back. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okie dokie. Let's keep going. Which midfielder played for Bournemouth and Man City before moving to West Ham in 89 and he made 250 appearances for us? Was it Steve Jones? Was it the Bish? Was it Trevor Morley or Martin Allen? Pretty. What ones are those ones? Are those ones a mummy head? They're mummy ones. No, they're one shed heavy. They're not they're too they're heavy. Sh- no, they're big ones. Oh, cool. Very pretty. Um, so Flo's got new earrings in. She might show you in a bit. Um, Bish thinks. Well, thinks Bish. Trodge thinks Bish. Could it be Trevor Morley? Could it be Steve Jones? Could it be Mad Dog? Mad Dog played for Bournemouth, didn't he? Steve Jones played for Bournemouth. Trevor Morley played for Man City, didn't he? Fish. Mark Fish is in in the list, unfortunately. There we go. I I, I know you have maybe been facetious. But all four of them, lovely fellas, all four of them, friends of the channel, Bish Bosh. It was Bish Bosh. And actually we found, I don't know if if T's in here, my brother, but we found, uh, so Tom... So, so Tom, you see in the chat, Tom, Tom Budden, obviously my brother, um, and Simon's in the chat as well. Sometimes my brother, but he's in Dubai, so he's always different time limits. Um, we did a, he did a uh, one of these hidden camera shows at our school, and Bish came to surprise him and uh, like burst into his art lesson, and then we went and played football. And actually, Frankel, for anyone who's who's who's, who's part of the YouTube, Frankel was in that video as well, randomly. Um, and uh, yeah, Tom showed me it, and I sent it to Bish, and he was laughing. And Morley, I sent it to him because he was on holiday with him. Um, anyway, let's keep going. Former West Ham, Aston Villa, Bolton player, made 23 appearances for England on 21s in that period, but never won a, a cap. Who was he? Which what, former West Ham player had 23 appearances um, for England on 21s, but never made a full cap? Was it Matthew Everton? Kevin Nolan? Was it. Marlon Harewood, or was it Doot 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 Nigel Rear Coker? 
Trodge thinks it's Effrington. We're coming to England with Bish and Bendit West Ham. Excellent. Or Rio Coca, but I'll go with Effers. Rio Coca says Michael. What does Flo think it was? Well, he's a bit late now. It was Rio Coca. Do, 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 Nigel Rio Coca. Friend of the channel. Getting back on to, I think. Maybe we'll try and do that. This is too easy for 1900. Look, 10. He's got 10 in a row. 10 in a row. Having a laugh. Let's keep going. Come more questions. He does. He does. And ironically, I went to school with Frankel. Despite the fact he lives in Texas. Very weird. You're right. I love you, Rio. No, I okay. In 2003, Reese Oxford left West Ham to join which German club? Was it Schalke? Was it uh, FC Cologne? Was it Borussia München Gladbach? Or was it Augsburg? Never, never a trick question, you know what I mean? Shopping in Asda while doing impressive. What's the queues like? Is there plenty of hot cross buttons still available, Anthony? Let us know. Live. Yeah, so Frank went to my school. Um, it was it was Augsburg. I'm 19 and 10 on Man United with bad. Thank you, very good. Thank you. Uh, it wasn't Gladbach. It was Augsburg. It was Augsburg. Oh, hun- hundreds run away with this completely. Congratulations, whoever you are. Uh, two more questions to go. In 1983, West Ham beat, beat Berry in the Milk Cup second round and second leg by what score? Was it 9-0, 10-0, 11-0, or 11-1? Are we keeping you up? I do apologise, Florence. Still want to clean your glasses. Um, was it 9-0, 10-0, 11-0, or 11-1? Oh, very busy. We've done a while. I, I, I don't want to leave the house, to be honest. Not everyone getting their stuff for Easter. It was 10-0. 10-zip. 10-zip. Nope. Yep. Nope. 10 zip. Danny, nice, nice little run there. Danny at the end. Seven in a row. Very good to see. Right, last question. Which cult player did, and I said cult, did Harry Redknapp sign from Sparta Rotterdam despite never seeing him play live? Was it Stan Lazaridis? Was it Ili Dimitrescu, Palo Futre, or Michael Boogers? Marco Boogers. What are you laughing at? Michael Boogers. Michael Boogers. Which player did Harry Redknapp sign without never seeing him actually play live? Famously just watching him on a highlight reel. Boogers. Boogers. Was it Stan Lazaridis? It was, it was Marco Boogers. Marco Boogers. Famously uh, got set off and then lived in a caravan for the rest of his life. Um, Slay. You'd love that. Yeah. <laughs> um, although he's the only man who has turned me down for a Miami's 11 interview. Um, so let's have a look. Who won? Third place was Danny. Well done, Danny. Good to see you. Oh, lo- lovely picture. Number two was JB. Well done, JB. And number one, top of the pile, cream of the crop. We don't stop, I believe, was... Yeah, I knew it was, uh, that was Ken. That was Ken, weren't it? You're, you're, you're back in the chat. 1900. Is that you, Ken? Was that you? I'm pretty sure that was, that was Ken. Because Ken traditionally always just creeped in and had something different. Was that you, Kent? Well done. I'm pretty sure it was Kent. Um, heard too many booger stories, indeed. Well, he's one of the players we, we, we've tried to get on the channel. We've tried to get him on the channel, and he hasn't. Um, he, he he don't don't like to talk about it anymore now. I talk about it anymore now. Um, yes, nice, nice, nice. I knew I knew it was Kent. I knew it was Kent. Kent loves a quiz. Kent, we'll bring him back for you. Ken was one of the persons who asked me a while ago about some quizzes. So I thought we'll bring one back for you, Kent. Bring one back. You know, we know us. We're always nice to let's stop screen sharing that. Um, skeleton takes the win indeed. Well done, Kent. Yep. Yeah, exactly. A bit of fun, isn't it? A bit of fun for a, a good Friday. And Flo told me the why it was called Good Friday, which was good. Uh, no Wi-Fi in the caravan, Russ. Yeah. <coughs> that's a good thing, although the yeah, that's a good point. When we go to the caravan, we don't have the good signal, do we? No. Sad times, oh, terrible times. Um, we will uh, have a bit of fun today. We'll we'll be back. We'll flow together the channel when you and Anton go into the OAP home. No, because the OAP home will have good Wi-Fi by then. GP. We'll... 
She doesn't know about West Ham. We know. Oh, okay. Doug, hope you are my friend. Hope, hope the baby's well. Nice to see you, man. Hope you are surviving. Hope the sleep. Doug literally had a baby a, a few months ago now, isn't it? Hopefully you uh got her into it got, got the baby into a pattern. Into a, uh, I think uh yeah, Holly's having in and out all the time. So yeah. Um I'm just seeing this anyway. Oh anyway, yeah. Uh, what we got here? Right, thank you very much, Trudge. Which we we'll, we've we'll, we'll, we'll do more of these occasionally just to just to jazz it up a bit, really. Idiot. Um, I'm the greatest coach for Premier. Jesus is always fond of this. Very good. I loved the man. He he man as a kid. Oh, a skeleton. Yeah. Uh, that was good. Away, Mister. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, ladders. It's all fun and games. Thundercat. Oh, I was talking about Thundercats. Uh, Happy Easter from Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Indeed. Happy Easter. Uh, must do more research, ladders. You've been around for all those questions, mate. You've lived through that life. Uh, didn't Jeff get a double hat trick, but handball one? He did indeed. He did indeed. And Brian Deer always talks about that. Uh, yeah, managed to get some sleep, starting to get uh, the routine. Six months, man. Um, oh, you got these ones, too. You got? Did you get them? Did you get them? Excellent. Excellent stuff. Brilliant, mate. Yeah, as I said, if uh, I've had a lot of people ask me about these. So, you know, I should have done like a, what's it called? Um, what are they called? Like a com- like a commission it should be on commission with Hobby Craft because yeah six there was I think they're twelve pound now but they're six pound when I got them. Uh, how is lovely Holly ankle uh, an ankle bit? Oh yeah, very well, mate. I believe she's I believe she's actually doing a show. Uh, no, that, 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 that seems a bright seems bright. She does shows all the time. Um, I think. Let me have a quick check. Uh, yeah, she uh, she'll be doing. She does. I think on Wednesdays. And 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 throughout the week, she she's we get her on. But yes, yeah, she's doing well. Baby's doing well as well, which is great to see. Um, it does. What's the oldest shirt on your wall? No, that's, I've got I've got the Wembley nineteen eighty shirt there, down there. Um, oh, it's probably the sixty five. Yes, yeah, sixty five. Yeah, the six the sixty five one. Sixty five one. That's the oldest one. Uh, frame double. Oh, you see, if you've been priced any more, uh, coming up, Russ Dino's class. Got we're, we're working on it, Kent. You know me, Dino was Dino was class. Um, best one is the one above your head at sponsor. Oh, the 70, 75 one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, best, uh, yes, Kent. So, working on a good one, working on some good ones. Um, we have one which I'm which, yeah. We we try and get some more. Yeah, I mean, we're going to get obviously we we get former hammers on the side all the time. We're going to get a few more on coming up shortly. Um, but new ones, we've got a couple of new ones coming up soon. We've also got um, ones from I think after Easter, yeah. we've got one from the sixties. But they're going to come and do it here. Yeah. So we'll do a lot. We'll do it like the on the on the on the bud and chaise longs um like we did with michael it's not it's not a chaise long it's a sofa but chaise long is like the sofa without the end of it anyway don't matter. um we used to have people coming to our house yeah like again yeah so we have to tidy up put all your lols away um uh which shirt is your oldest one 86 you don't have the bobby shirt no i no i don't actually no, no i don't um do <laughs> You cow. Did a show the other day when she looked like Anton. Oh, yeah, Anton put the ice all that. Uh, I see you on Facebook. Can I add you? Of course you can. Shut up, you. Of course you can. You're going to need to build an extension. That rate, they bring out all the kits. Well, I've got this side of the wall. You won't be able to see it. I've actually, I've got that thing. thing. I've got to put that. Yeah. I've got to put that up as well. A massive, like, Mm. detail thing. I need to put that up on there when I get time. But you won't be able to to see it, though. And my dad got me a clock up there, but it don't work. He got a clock up there made out of a record, but it don't work. Because it's too, it keeps getting stuck. It's a broken record. Very good. High five. Good, good one. Good one. You can tell she's my daughter. What? I don't know. Let me take, take it off. Um, anyway, we'll be back. We should, we'll wait and see when Dave Moyes press conference is. I believe it should be about half one, but I don't know. 
I've asked people, I've asked some of the journalists to text me it when it's up, but um, they're, they're a bit strange. Like the other day, they didn't put the, the Dave Moyes press conference up at all. Um, and then like put it up like two or three hours later. But we'll try and get that up later on once we uh, know what it is. Um, which shirt is your favourite? Mm. It's got to be the Do- Dr. Martin's one, isn't it? It's got to be Dr. Martin's one, I think. Oh, actually, well, sorry, that one. I but that. in the Dagger Motors, well, the Dagger Motors, because uh, that was that was the first shirt I saw. I've got you, a Dr. Martin you did. She got. She did get me the Doctor Martin shirt. She remember? Is Castor confirmed? Um, well, there's basically, in terms of what I'm there to believe, is Miss is Umbro are doing something, uh, basically outsourcing or selling off their shirt stuff to Castor. So it could well be. If we get the new C shirt, be careful throwing their rip. Indeed, yeah. Um, says 150 for boys, but there we go. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. We won't be ready till two o'clock anyway. Uh, but we'll try and bring that along to Hammer's headlines later on. Obviously, because it's Easter, it's a bit, everything's a bit long. Everyone's doing stuff and stuff, but I do appreciate that. Everyone turning up. Um, so we did get this. You'd like these, Ken. Someone sent me these. They were, um, they were, uh, so tops, cards. So Tops have got some thing with West Ham and they've got these like just like West Ham like cards and they sent I did, I did a, I've I've recorded a pack opening so I'm going to put that up because that's what the kids do don't they they open packs but yeah they're quite good cards they're quite good um they're quite good I've got, I've got an auto now for a Gerd autograph how exciting got this which i'm going to send to nick from claret and booze winning moments david moyes i'm going to put that in a frame for him and send that to... moyes? yeah he's quick. well yeah well yeah he's well he is oh, are you covering the price hike um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna full, i think i might do a full show about that actually um which we might pop later on today um talking about the price hike but also all the other stuff about the season ticket holders in terms of use it or lose it in terms of the concessions that type of thing um, but anyway, what? Today. Oh yeah, we got we 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 got a thing. We we we're doing a. We're into crime. You like you like true crime, don't yeah. you? Yeah. So we got this thing off a TikTok shop, and it's like a crime thing, and you had to solve it. That's what we're doing today. Yeah. It's... Apparently, it takes you five hours. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we'll get it done in two. Yeah, fuck yeah. Um, so yeah, look forward to that. Nah, I say Nick stuff all the time. Yeah, Nick, Nick never showed anyone his it, the the birthday card that me me and Anton sent him. It, <laughs> it was in the back of his. It, it was in the back of his uh on his shelf for a couple of, for a couple of shows. But yeah, we we get on very old, Nick. Uh, anyway, yeah, I might do a show about that later on. Put it out um a bit later. Um, we'll see how long this crime thing takes to do. Anyway, take care. Stay safe, stay warm, stay humble. Keep the faith, my friends, and we'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Much love. Bye.